Dear Philip and Agatha, you, as you know, you are about to enter into a union which is most sacred and serious, a union established by God himself. This union then is most serious for it will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly affect your whole future. That future with its hopes and its disappointments, its successes and its failures, its pleasures and its pains, its joys and its sorrows is hidden from your eyes. But you know that all of these elements are to be found in each married life and so are to be expected in your own. And so not knowing what is before you, you take each other for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health until death. Truly then, these words are most serious. It is a beautiful tribute to your undoubted faith in each other that realizing the full impact of these words, you are nevertheless so willing and ready to pronounce them. And because these words involve such solemn obligations, it is most fitting that you rest the security of your wedded life on the great principle of self-sacrifice. And so you begin your married life by the voluntary and complete surrender of your individual lives in the interest of that deeper and wider life which you are to have in common. Henceforth, you belong entirely to each other. You will become one in mind, one in heart, and one in affections. Today you begin to learn again, to learn to love each other in a deeper way. You are joining yourselves to each other today to become one without, of course, losing your individuality. But becoming one doesn't happen overnight. It is something that you will learn and become better at as you share your married life together. True love is not just a feeling or an emotion that can change. True love is, as we've said many times, commitment, commitment to each other. That's what shows your true love to one another.